This is the orifice plate uh, in the Department of Chemical Engineering at Loughborough University in the UK. And the orifice plate is inside a clear plastic pipe. And down the clear plastic pipe we have pressure measurement using the uh, manometers that you can see attached to the pipe. Here's the full rig being illustrated with flow measurement through a rotometer on the left. Well, the liquid flows from the tank through a ball valve into a centrifugal pump and then from the centrifugal pump there's a PVC pipe that takes the flow up around an, el an elbow, 45 degree elbow, then into the bottom of the flow meter, the rotameter flow meter. And as we go in, you can just about make out the float on the rotameter, and the flow measurement is shown in litres per minute of liquid. So we have about 12 litres per minute, and we can control the flow using this valve just below the rotameter. So after flowing through the rotameter, it's a 180 degree bend down the PVC pipe, then a 90 degree bend, and we enter the clear plastic pipe with the orifice plate in the middle of it, and pressure measurements before the orifice plate and after the orifice plate and also pressure measurement at the orifice plate which we can now see just here it's a plate sandwiched between those two flanges so after the orifice plate again more pressure measurements using manometers so we can see the pressure recovery after the flow has gone through the orifice and then finally back into some PVC pipe work through a valve and back down into the reservoir tank where it gets pumped round again. And if we zoom in you can see the manometers measuring the pressure by virtue of the different heights. The red lines indicate the tops of the manometers and the flow direction is left to right through the tube. We'll increase the flow rate from around about 12 litres per minute and as we increase the flow rate the, the heights of the manometers clearly rise so we're really increasing the pressure as well as the flow and we're measuring the pressure from the tapping in the pipe to atmosphere by the manometer but you can see that uh, the lowest pressure is still at the point of the manometer. We're at about 22 litres per minute now. And here are the heights of the manometers marked.